So the reality of what happened and is still happening over in Gaza, right? Let's go day one. Day one, Hamas then go into the Zionist state, take hostages, did not fire upon anyone who did not fire upon them first. And that was the whole idea to take hostages. And the reason they took hostages is because they wanted people released from their prisons. Right? They were hostages. They were prisoners snatched from the Palestinian quarters by the Israeli forces, tortured, beaten, starved, deprivation beyond the joke. How do we know this? Because they've openly spoken about it. Yeah? And then we look at the the hostages that Hamas taken when they are being released. Perfectly fine, healthy, no issues, well taken care of. Five-star treatment. So what's the reality of the whole thing? Israel wanted this to happen. The Zionist state wanted this to happen. They then shot and fired upon their own people to make it worse than it was. They then lied about 40 children being murdered and beheaded. No evidence has ever been presented. Yet we clearly saw the footage and the, the photos of the dead bodies in Gaza of the children on the street. And we've been seeing that for 75 years. But the reality of what is going to happen now is the Zionist government are not going to stop because they have signed agreements with the UK, with America, France, just to name some, for the gas reserves that are off the Gaza coast. The ethnic cleansing will not stop. The murder and torture of the Palestinian Christians, Jews and Muslims who are fighting against the Zionist state will not stop. It will not stop. And the fact that the UK government, American government, French governments and other governments are totally complicit in the actions of the Zionist machine, in the ethnic cleansing, murder and killing of men, women and children. Even more so now for the sake of natural gas reserves. And if we as human beings sit back and agree with that, and allow that, and allow our tax money to go towards such horrific, horrendous acts of torture, internment, starvation, an open air concentration camp in the 21st century, and our tax money is funding the Zionist killing machine with weaponry and other stuff. Are we all not guilty and complicit in the genocide of a people? The Jews only had control of the Palestinian state for less than 125 years. Let's put that into perspective. Check the Roman history of the United Kingdom and the Palestinian state, Rome. Okay, the Italians have more right to claim Palestine, including the UK, the right of return than any other nation because they ruled it the longest. And yet, for some unknown reason, we still have here in the UK people happily supporting this Zionist ideology and Hypocrisy that claims to be the only democracy in the Middle East. What is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? You sit back and allow it. You allow your tax money to go to the murder and killing of children. The incarceration of young teenagers in prisons where they are starved, beaten and tortured. You allow this? Do you not understand? Are you truly blind? The only government standing up is the Irish government. And now other governments are slowly standing up. And some governments are only seen to be seeing saying words because now their own people are going, we're not having this. It's 
So the truth and the reality is every single taxpayer within the United Kingdom is complicit to the murder and the genocide of the Palestinian people for the last 75 years. We are all complicit. Think about that. All of us, our hands are stained with the blood of innocence.